One of the things I'm most proud of is our mental health department, where we provide low-cost counseling to special needs individuals and their families. During times like this, this is something that everyone can use. My name is Judy. I'm Aviva. And we are the music and art directors at the Ed Asner Family Center. And we're so happy to make some more music and some more art with you. But before we get down to the nitty gritty, we've got to do our hello song. So you're going to sing it with me? Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the center, the musical show. Hello, hello. Let's go, let's go. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the center's musical show with Judy and Aviva. Come on, oh, yes, you know. We're gonna have some music and some art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have some fun today, today, today. We're gonna have some fun today, today, today. We're gonna have some fun today. So hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the center's musical show. Welcome, welcome. We've got some good surprises for you. So I hope you're wearing some green and enjoying your beautiful day. Let's get to it. Hi guys, welcome back to another music and art class. The art of what? Music. <laughs> music. <laughs> I know, I'm so excited. It's My hard to be a leprechaun. Hat is flying off. Speaking of leprechaun hats, happy St. Patrick's Day! Happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs> Hopefully you're wearing some green and celebrating and having some fun and making some music and some art. And, yeah. and wearing green, 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 green. Like we're we're very green today. Yeah, we're being festive. We are just having such a good time today. It's the time to celebrate and just have some fun, right? We're trying to relax. Let's just enjoy ourselves right now. I hope you guys take this, these next whatever 30, 40 minutes to just relax, enjoy, and hang out with us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. But a little some fun facts about St. Patrick's Day, right? It's not just celebrated in Ireland. Right. Okay. Judy is really right. It is celebrated throughout our whole, like a, a whole different areas, not just Ireland. Okay. It is celebrated in Northern Ireland, the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador and the Caribbean islands of Mon Montserrat or yeah. so, I, I, I'm not going to pretend like I can <laughs> really <laughs> pronounce all of them, but it's not just celebrated in Ireland. It's also celebrated here in the U.S. as well. Right. There's so many places that change colors to right. green or celebrate by wearing certain clothes. Yeah. So we celebrate by wearing green. And even in here in the U.S., in Chicago, in the Kelly River, they actually dye the whole river green oh, in celebration. Man. So we all are kind of embracing and kind of enjoying other people's cultures as well. Being very green in the spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so excited for today's class today. We have so much in store for you guys. So many fun kind of crafts and songs for you guys to sing. I'm really excited. Yeah, should we get started with some music? Yeah, let's do it. All right, come on, sh follow the rainbow. <laughs> Welcome back with some more music with me, Judy, and I'm just so excited. The best thing about St. Patrick's Day is, of course, the leprechauns, right? So the leprechauns come, and we talk about them a lot. You might see them on cereal boxes. You might think of them as being over the rainbow somewhere with their potted bowl, but it's actually kind of interesting. 
Leprechauns are the fairies. They're pretty much fairies or a type of fairy. And leprechauns are very tricky. They like to be mysterious and they like to take not only give luck, but they like to take luck away. So you've got to be a little bit careful with those leprechauns because you might find gold, but you might get into a little bit of trouble sometimes. So talking about a little bit of gold, I thought we could sing Bruno Mars song, Treasure. Are you ready to sing with me? So grab your instruments, grab your drums, grab your spoons and your flutes and your anything you want to tap along with and join with this song. Goes a little like this. Oh, give me all, give me all, give me all ten, baby. I got to tell you something, something by myself. You want to go flawless, ooh, you're a treasure. But you walk around here like you want to be someone else, else, else. Oh, oh, you know, you know it, because you're fine, so fine, fine, so fine. Oh, oh, girl, you're going to show you that you're mine, oh, my, mine, oh, my. What treasure, oh, 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 that is. You're my golden star. Oh, 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 you make my wish come true. I'm gonna, gonna treasure you. Oh, oh, oh let me treasure you, you, you. Oh, you are my treasure. You are my treasure. You are my treasure. Yeah, you, 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 you are, you are my treasure. What? You are my treasure. You are my treasure. Yeah, you, 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 you are my treasure. Let me hear it. You are my treasure. Let's sing it. Oh, you are my treasure. Yeah, you, 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 you are. Woo! Treasure. Treasure, treasure, yeah, you, 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 treasure, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's what you are, so sing and play with me, oh, 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 you treasure, you're all beyond, the rainbow we'll see, you are my treasure, you are my treasure, you are my treasure, so dance, Dance, dance with me. You are my treasure. You are my treasure. You are my treasure. So dance, 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 dance. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Yeah, you, 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 you are. So hopefully you feel like a little bit more like treasure today, because you are. We're all very special and unique, and we don't have to be looked. We don't have to look all the way over the rainbow to see that, right? We're right in front of each other, and we're all very special. And that brings me to my next song, a traditional Irish song about a smile, a smile that lights up the whole room. And I know that all of us are Irish. Maybe you have a little Irish in you, or maybe maybe you're, you, you don't, but you celebrate this beautiful St. Patrick's Day. We can all celebrate somebody that lights up a room. So sing along this song with me. It goes like this. When Irish eyes are smiling, Sure you lie the morning spring and in light the Irish laughter. You can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world is bright and gay. And when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they'll steal your heart away. When Irish eyes are smiling, sure you're like a morning spring. When you lay the Irish laughter, you hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world is bright and gay. Oh, when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they'll steal your heart away. Oh, 
too i was imagining them in my head i actually can't stop smiling myself after here i know that. doesn't that just make your cheeks want to turn all rosy no it almost made me have happy tears to be honest Aww. i love that song very sweet um all right so wiping those happy tears away <laughs> all right so now we are going to be doing something really fun for I'm our so project excited. today for our saint patty's day themed project but not only saint patty's day or is um what we're celebrating today, you know, we are actually also celebrating just taking time to celebrate just in general. We don't only have to be festive and fun on the days that actually have a holiday in them. We can enjoy our days every single day and take times, take our, my brain, no, my, like my word. Saying, taking time <laughs> for yourself, even though it's really fun to get in the spirit and we take we take these days, these holidays, we get really extra excited and we might sing songs and make us feel the spirit of the holiday, but it's good to keep this feeling mm -hmm. even outside of a holiday. Exactly. So finding things in every day to dress up or find ways to make you smile a little bit brighter, right? That Irish smile. Exactly, exactly. So today, we are going to be making something that is so much fun and also a therapeutic tool as well. We are going to be making calming jars and also rainbow or so you have the choice to make any color you'd want. I have one here mm, that is, that? yeah, so Judy's going to play with that one. And this is our rainbow calming jar. It's a little bit darker because you can see that I use a little bit more food dye in this one. So it's kind of like a dark purple. I don't know how well you guys can, Maybe you can capture it. it on the camera. But today we're going to be making a St. Patty's Day themed calming jar. And we'll talk a little bit more about the benefits of a calming jar. But let's get straight into crafting because I know that's what you guys are here for. That is what I'm here for. This is, <laughs> I know that you can't see it, but it's very sparkly. And there's little things inside that you can watch go up yes, and down. Yes, little sequence. So let's talk about some of our materials that we're going to be needing today. So here, for our main jar, you can use any type of jar that you have lying around. I personally like using these Boss water bottles um, because they're so long. And the longer your bottle is, the more time that your glitter has to fall to the bottom. So think about that when you're choosing your, your bottle. It could also be a water bottle if that's all you have laying around. So I've got my jar. And you are going to be needing food coloring if you'd like to, it to be a color. And most importantly, you are going to be needing glitter, okay? I have very fine glitter today, but I also have, whoops, I have some sequins as well. So glitter, sequins, but glitter is the most important thing. And then finally, you are going to be needing clear Elmer's glue, okay? And it's important for it to be clear. So you really are just focusing on the glitter when it's kind of falling. All right. That, was, don't, that was my question. I right. was like, why does it have to be clear? Yeah, because we don't want it to be milky. Unless that's, that's, that's what you want it. That's true, because like. then you wouldn't be able to see the glitter. Yeah, we want the moves. glitter to be the main star of our show today. All right, so let's do it. Let's start crafting. All right, so here is my jar. And you can see, oh, there's Judy's right there. We can see it closer mm -hmm. out. 
and it's probably best if you do have thicker glitter so you can really see that glitter fall. But here, I have my Voss water here, and you can see that it does have the label on it. And so particularly, you want to get a bottle that doesn't have a label on it. This one doesn't have a sticker on it. I would take the sticker off if we could, but that's okay. We are going, because we've got this lovely space here so that we can actually see our glitter. You just want to make sure that you can see what's inside. So we are going to make sure that our water bottle is taken, we've taken about three thirds uh, three quarters of our water out. So there should be some space at the top of your water bottle for um, our glue and our glitter and our food coloring. So I've got a little paper here so you guys can definitely make sure that you're following along with our materials because you can do this just watching the show or take a screenshot and do this project later. All right, so we are going to be using our bottle that is only three quarters filled with, with warmish water. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting with our Elmer's glue. And you're going to be needing about two bottles of clear Elmer, Elmer's glue because you're going to be using one full bottle and half of another bottle mm. because the more glue you use, the slower your glitter will fall. Oh. So I'm going to just pour this all in here. So Aviva, I have some fun facts. Okay, did let's you, hear it. I'm did, so you, did you know that St. Patrick wasn't from Ireland? <gasps> He wasn't. He wasn't from Ireland. He was actually from the from Wales. Oh my gosh. So he wasn't from Ireland at all. So why do we celebrate him? Well, I mean, he did a lot of things for coming back to Ireland and religious reasons. And even I think there's the storyline of sending out the snakes and, and clearing all of the Ireland of the snakes and evil and things like that. But it was amazing. He was he was captured and brought to Ireland as a young boy, and that's where he was. And that's where he became even right. He became a bishop and things like that. So I know. And, you know, it's something that we can honestly all learn from St. Patrick that even though he kind of was wronged by um, the country of Ireland, he, you know, took the bigger, what, what is it? Walked to the higher he, road and, 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 and made a difference. And he made a difference and he came back and he actually helped the people that wronged him. So it's always nice to give people a second chance. You know? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So here I'm actually adding in my second bottle of my, just half of the second bottle here. I want to add a good amount just so that my glitter falls slowly, like I said before. And so, I don't know, I can't really tilt it for you guys here, but my bottle is Ooh. basically filled up about, like yep, much. about halfway Oh, not Ooh, halfway, like right there, right there, quarter of the way on the bottom. Show the whole bottle. It's a big bottle. Yeah, it's a pretty big bottle. So it always, you want to adjust the recipe depending on how big your bottle is. You just want to make sure it's filled, just a quarter of the bottle is filled with this clear glue. So now that we've got our clear glue, we're going to add our glitter. And Judy, maybe you can help me out. Ooh, yes. So I have some green glitter here for our lovely holiday that we're... Um, do you think today. it was always green? You know what, Judy? That is a great point because like, it actually, the, yeah, you can go ahead. So the co the color of um, St. Patty's Day hasn't always been symbolized by the color green. It's actually was also symbolized with the color blue. And leprechauns actually used to not be green. They were red. What? No, that yeah, can't be true. They were red head to toe. But, uh, you know, as time goes on, you try and make holidays a little bit more um, festive and colorful. So I guess that's a little what we learned about last week, where through the decades, things do change, like styles, haircuts, clothing, exactly. music. So even something that we've celebrated for, I mean, how many years has it been? It's been like, OK, so everything that happened to St. Patrick in history happened in 1970. Uh, no. 1798. So how long 17. ago was that, Judy? Okay, let me do my quick math. Quick math, Judy. Oh, I got it. Because of the power of music. I think it's about 222 years. Oh, my gosh. 222, 222 years. 222 I'm, I'm years. my music brain. <laughs> Your music brain helped us out with our math. Yes. And now we know that it happened so long ago, but That's we are still time. celebrating it today. But it's changed a little bit. But it's totally changed. You know, we're blue. This would be, we would have to change the green screen. We would have to repaint the green screen blue. <laughs> exactly. So just to get you uh, caught up to what I'm doing right now, we poured our glitter in. 
I am mixing together just the glitter that we have in here. And I am actually, I, we have so much beautiful glitter in here. I don't even think we're going to need food coloring. But if you don't have a lot of glitter at home, um, I suggest just, um, wow, my brain just left me. If you don't have food coloring at home, you could just use glitter. Or if you don't have a lot of yeah, glitter, you can use really food good. coloring. You could also add these fun Orbeez as well. We I don't think I don't think we're gonna add them to this one. Judy, you could add yours to the pink one. If oh you'd yeah, like. I would love to. Um, but now that we have our glitter in, you can take some super glue and add it to the edges. And uh, just to make sure that your bottle is secure, I'll do that later. But while Judy's adding in her Orbeez to her bottle. We're going to just talk a little bit about our bottle. So I want to have you guys get a good look about how, uh, how it looks now. Because you can see our glue is here at the bottom. We're just going to give it a good shake up to really mix it together. All right. And you can see that the glue is slowly starting to mix in to our water. We really want to make sure it's mixed together before you truly start enjoying it. So I'm giving it a nice shake. And you can see it start to fall. Ooh. All right, it's so pretty. So let's let that fall for a moment. But, you know, the best thing about glitter jars, you know, are, you know, they kind of symbolize our brains and our minds in a way, because in a way, the jar is kind of like our brain and our mind, and the glitter kind of represents our feelings and our emotions that we have throughout the day. And so basically when you wake up in the morning, maybe all of your glitter is settled down at the bottom and you're relaxed and you're calm and you're not really thinking about much yet because the day hasn't quite begun, but maybe it's kind of a harder day for you and maybe your alarm went off too late or you're a little bit frustrated with someone in your class or maybe your Zoom call isn't working quite well or anything like that. Maybe you see something scary on the news and then your glitter starts to get shaken up and your brain gets a little clouded and it's hard to really focus on a lot of our daily tasks. But, you know, with these calming jars, it really helps by just letting the bottle sit down and let all those glitter, all those feelings and emotions kind of settle at the bottom of the jar because, just like our daily life, you know, the glitter and our emotions and our stressors are still there, but we just need to take time to let the glitter fall and settle and it makes our brains a little bit clearer and easier to process some of our daily stressors that we usually have. So these jars are a great way of just taking time out of your day to be mindful of your thoughts and of your body and make sure that you're taking care of yourself, even though life can get a little bit stressful sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed making our calming jars today, Judy. Did you yeah, end up adding some of I your... I did, and they actually like kind of float slowly and move slowly. Yeah, so if you want yours to be extra beautiful and dark like Judy's, you can add food coloring, and this is what it looks like without food coloring. But we're going to be keeping these around the center, so whenever we start to have our virtual classes, or our in-person classes, I mean, which actually are starting on the 28th, you can come in and maybe try out some of our calming jars. Mm -hmm. But now, a message from our two favorite people and mm -hmm. our best buddies. Hey! Hey! Judy! It's good to see you. I love your shirt. Oh, thank you. It has a clover on it, a little shamrock. Oh, that's very, very, very in spirit for you to do that today. Thank you. I love celebrating St. Patty's Day, even though I'm not honest. I, honestly, I'm not Irish. Are you Irish? I, I am Irish. Just, um, oh, I just took my DNA test and I am 65%. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Mm -hmm. High five. Happy St. Patty's Day. Yeah. So do you have any traditions for celebrating St. Patty's Day? Well, to be honest, I didn't know that I was really all that Irish. 
Oh, so you're just starting to celebrate, right? Yeah, so I didn't even know. Because of the DNA test, I was able to look back and see that I have some relatives or history that came from all the way from Ireland. Wow, that's incredible, Judy. Mm -hmm. I heard that a lot of people feast on St. Patty's ooh, Day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Corn beef and cabbage. Mm, mm. That sounds delicious. Maybe oh. we can have some dinner and celebrate together. Tonight. Oh, yeah. That sounds so good. Mm, 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 mm. I have traditions as well. Um, they are not Irish, but I am Jewish. And very soon it's going to be Passover. And I'll be celebrating Passover and Jewish traditions. Isn't there a special bread that you eat that's delicious? Yeah, it's matzah. So instead of having <gasps> mm -hmm. cornbread, we're having unleavened bread called matzah. Mm. So we all celebrate all different types of holidays and traditions, but it's nice to kind of join friends and join together and, and celebrate. And celebrate, yeah. Even our differences. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And celebrate new things that you just found out, right? Yeah. It's never too early to learn something new and to start celebrating. Exactly. I'm so excited to have some nice corned beef and potatoes and delicious stuff. And carrots and carrots. Oh, yeah. Carrots. Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, little carrot dance. Mm -hmm. The carrot dance. I like carrots. It makes my eyes stronger. That's what people <laughs> tell me. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go talk to our friends, Judy and Aviva. I'm uh, sure they have some information. Yeah, I bet they do. Oh, <laughs> hi guys. Those guys are so awesome. <laughs> so I'm just so excited about celebrating St. Patrick's Day and even Passover, talking a little bit about different traditions, what maybe some people do. Maybe you don't celebrate or wear green, or maybe it's something that you just think about and it's just another day. But I would love to know what you do, right? So in the comments, you can share with us your traditions with your family or your friends or your loved ones. Yeah, and we could also remember for these upcoming weeks to try and think about things that you can celebrate in your daily life. Just like how we were talking about earlier, you don't have to only celebrate on holidays. You can celebrate the things that you love and using some of our tools that we learned while making our calming bottles, you can also take time out of your day to try and not focus on some of our daily stressors and maybe do something that you love something that what is it from soul what do they say from the oh movie? finding soul? your spark you can find our spark and maybe spend at least 15 minutes a day doing something that you love something that helps kind of spark your your spark <laughs> and it can be small right you don't have to be the best artist i'm not the best artist i leave that to aviva well maybe that could be something you try right every little bit every day and just try and do my best mm -hmm. And find my own new little spark. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right. Well, oh, let's not forget something oh. special is happening, right? Oh, you're Within so five right. days. You only have a very short amount of time. This is very special. Yes. So make sure that you go and check out our ba -da 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 online store. Because we are open and we have had so many shirts and mugs and merchandise for you guys to check out. Make sure you use our code LUCKY21 for all of our goodies. Oh, you get 5% off? 5%? Ooh, that's really, that's a deal. Mm -hmm. That's a real deal. And you deal. could also check out some of our art from our My Two Brothers. Their Ooh. art's on the website for you guys to check out. But I think more than anything, it's just supporting this community that we've built at the Ed Asner Family Definitely. Center. Definitely. If you are trying to support in any way, go and check out our website. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm going to, because only five days. I'm really nervous. I'm yeah. going to get on it as five fast days. as possible. Five days. Get on it quick. Five days, five percent, five lucky numbers right exactly. there. Make it happen. All right. So I think that's going to be about it today. I hope you guys had so much fun making art and singing some lovely songs with me and Judy. Mm -hmm. And share your ideas of how you like to celebrate as well as what you like to do every day of the week to find some peace and relax, relax. Relaxation, 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 there you go. relaxation, <laughs> and having some fun as well as next week. You're gonna, we're gonna be relaxing oh so much. So you better not miss out next Wednesday yes. at four o'clock. We're gonna be super relaxing. Yes, mega relaxed time for next Wednesday. All right, <laughs> we will see you next time. Now let's end it with a lovely song, song for Judy. I think you're ready for our goodbye song. Get your la 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 la
voices ready. Until I see you next time. Goodbye.